I'm going to show you how to create your Zoom conference meeting. So the first thing you want to do is go to zoom.us. Don't use the icon down at the bottom. Go ahead and go to the website first. And then you'll have to sign in and then make sure you sign in with your Google account. You want to use your school account because that will give you all of the perks and options of the education account. Some of these things you cannot do with the free version, only the education version. So once you're signed into your account, your screen should look something like this. If not, go to the meetings tab over here on the far left, then go up towards the top and you're going to schedule a meeting. And we'll just call this Badner Conferences. All right. You could put a description in if you want, like you could say, go ahead and join this meeting, um, wait in the waiting room until your meeting time and I will admit you or whatever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make parents go into the waiting room while they're waiting for their turn. You can go ahead and set up the time and the date and schedule all that. I'm gonna skip all that right now, but you would put the conference date in and when the conferences start to the end. You're gonna set up one conference Zoom meeting and you're just gonna run the same meeting the entire time and then parents are just gonna keep joining at their time. So you'll wanna definitely set up for when your start time is, how long you want it to run. So let's say it's four hours long. I would always go a little bit longer than you need so you don't just get cut off at the end by any reason. Down at the bottom, right down here where it says security, in the passcode, if we all put in conference, that would be great because then no matter what conference some parent is trying to join, everybody's password is always the same. And make sure you click on the waiting room. You wanna make sure that this option is selected. You wanna have the video for the host as well as the participant and everything else is fine. You're not doing breakout rooms or anything. So then you click the save button. It's gonna bring up some information. I would definitely add this to your Google Calendar. So when you click that, it'll give you options to open up Google Calendar and it'll be saved in there. But what you want to do is take this link right here and save it. So you can either copy the invitation code here and it'll give you a whole bunch of information. So you can send this right to your parents. You just copy it, email that out, and then you would have to have your parents sign up for their times and then you would have to have their time slot in their email as well. So anyhow, that's all you need to do. Copy that code. However you choose to get it to your parents is great. They sign up for their time. They will come in, join the meeting with that link. If they're asked for that passcode, sometimes they are and sometimes they're not, um, they'll put in conference and then they will be in the waiting room until you let them in. So you may be in a conference with someone and just when yours is finishing up with that couple of minutes in between each one, the next parent's name will pop up. You click the admit button, they come in, they do their conference. It'll just be a systematic thing like that. So those are the only settings you need to worry about. Join that meeting just before the parents can get in on their conference date and you're all set.